Hi, I'm going to show you the latest issue, uh, the latest version of the Spectrum Next, uh, issue one, which is very likely to be the board layout that's going to make into the final production unit, right? This is probably the fourth prototype that we have made and is the one that we are the happiest with. So I'm going to start showing you the basic stuff, the stuff that you find on the regular Spectrum, right? Uh, you can see here we have the input for 9 volts, uh, we have mic and ear, so you can load and save from tape. So this makes you a regular spectrum. Now if you want to go beyond that, of course, you have the bus, which is compatible with any uh, spectral interface that there is in the market, the original ones. Everything will work from campstone to micro drives from interface one, etc. So everything should work. Um, and then you can see that we added quite a bit of stuff. The first one is, of course, the DB15, where you connect either a RGB or a VGA monitor, you choose which one you want. If you want the retro look with CRT monitors, it supports. If you want uh, uh, VGA monitors, even flat screen ones, it also supports. Here we have the HDMI on board, uh, which is already working. I'm going to show you that in a second. We have a PS2 for external keyboard or mouse. A lot of the Russian uh, apps use mouse, which is a very good addition. Uh, we have the SD card here, plus buttons to reset, access the drive, uh, and multi-phase one. Uh, this is the expansion board for the accelerator. Now, this is this was just a mistake we made. Uh, it's too long, right? This should be very short, so I have to cut this off. Here, the Raspberry Pi Zero fits in, and it becomes a slave for the Spectrum. Tells you what to do. Uh, a lot of this, the the uh, sprite functions will come from here. Uh, we also have here uh, DB9, which I haven't populated yet. I will in a second, which is for the joystick, which means that on the Spectrum Next, the final version, likely the joystick will be uh, uh, on the front. And we have some other features. Uh, you can see here, you can use the original Spectrum keyboard if you want. Uh, we have half a meg of RAM here. You can expand to one and a half. This is where the optional Wi-Fi module goes in. It costs like $5 if you want to put one. And this is the real-time clock if you want to add it as well. So there's a lot of room for expansion of your Spectrum in a budget, right? Very, very cheap if you wish. You can even add an internal speaker if you fancy doing the original Spectrum. But I'm, of course I'm going to show you it in action and here is, I house it exactly the same board, but of course cut this off a little bit. And you can see that I have added the, the cuts for the device. So I have the reset, uh, the drive access, the M1, the SD card, and you can see all the ports over here as well, right? Uh, especially the DVI, which is the one I'm going to be using today, which is the most interesting one to start showing. So let me put the DVI here. I also put an external keyboard so I can make some of the operations remotely without getting to the frame of the camera. And let's power it. Hey, that was easy. So we're loading at XDOS and now I can just access the disk and off you go. So I will probably start with a regular demo. I'm running right now in 128 mod uh, mode. So let's go for, uh, I think machine is a good one to try. Let me get some more volume here. So this implementation have, of course, support for the traditional beeper, uh, the AI, uh, AEY modes as well, and also turbo sound. I don't think I have any turbo sound demos here, but I will, I will try that next. So as you can see, it works perfectly fine. And this is the traditional speed of the spectrum. And it's running pretty fine. Let's get some ULA demos as well, uh, ULA Plus, so I can show you that uh, it will support some more colors. So some games make use of this and they look incredible. So this is the traditional Thanatos running at the same 3.5 megahertz that the original Spectrum has. I'm going to use the external keyboard just to accelerate it. So now we're running at 7 megahertz, and you can see that the, not only the game is still playable, but the frame rate has increased a lot. It's a much better game to play, if you ask me. So let's look at some demos like the Outer Loop. 
Uh, you can see here the difference when I accelerate. This is the original speed, this is a 7 MHz. Uh, it, the music is still synced. Uh, they, they, they made a provision on this on the code because probably to run on other machines like the Scorpion and so on that have higher uh, speeds. But the machine, the demo runs just fine with the same timings. It just accelerates the, the, the frame rate and, uh, and the function, especially 3D functions. Pretty cool to watch. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to boot the machine, but I will hold the space key down, which will get me into the, the boot ROM. So I will choose the 48K mode. I'm going to show you something quite special. A lot of people was concerned about the timings of the ULA and how that's going to work with HDMI. So I'm going to show you more one of the most uh, flickery demos that uh, we, could, uh, we have. Yeah. So, I'm not sure that any other machine runs this demo because it uses timings on the border to make these effects. This is, if, if it were like any time, if, were, if you're losing just one cycle on the ULA, uh, these effects will go out of sync. So this shows that the machine is being emulated to the best possible accuracy that there is. A couple of other things that's worth showing. Um, Nirvana engine in action, so beautiful graphics with this mode. So let's see how Dreamwalker runs just fine. So I'm going to show Cybernoid, which is a good demo for the, the palette. So here we have Cybernoid as you run on a traditional spectrum and now we do LA+. You can see it's switching, it adds some tones of orange and, and so on, so the palette is expanded. And then there you go, Cybernoid. Never look at so good. I look at probably accelerated. Yeah, it was just fine accelerated. There you go. And that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoy the first first peak of the spectrum. Next. Cheers!